These boots were made for talking about them. I'm referring, of course, to Ron DeSantis's choice of footwear, which was called out by podcaster Patrick Bet David on a recent podcast episode. He was pointing to a theory circulating in the internet that the governor of Florida, who's running for president, of course, wears heels. On Monday, PBD challenged DeSantis to disprove the theory by trying on a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo dress shoes. Let's watch. What they're trying to say with this is that in your boots, you have heels. No, no, no. That's yeah, what they're no, trying th to say. Those are just standard off-the-rack um, Lucchese. Um, how, how, tall are you? how tall are you, Governor? 5'11". 5'11"? Okay. Wh why don't you wear tennis shoes and dress shoes? Uh, I do wear tennis shoes when I work out. Yeah, 100%. You do? Yep. Okay. I got a gift for you. I'd love for you to wear, okay, I shop at Ferragamo, okay, and... I don't accept gifts. I can't accept I, it. I totally get I'm it. I'm sorry. What a workaround. Oh, I can't ex accept gifts. It's against, you know, campaign contribution law. Hey, aren't we against uh, the corruption in our government, Jessica? Finally, a populist man of the people will not um, accept, uh, accept this, uh, this bribe from uh, Big Boot, from Big Foot, <laughs> from Big Shoe. <laughs> Big, big shoe, big shoe. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't it. know. Ron DeSantis seemed a little scared there. He was like, oh, no, oh, no, what do I do? He could have said this goes against, you know, my drag policies and sentiments about, you know, men wearing heels and wearing drag. But I don't know. If you see him walk, it looks like the man is in heels. He looks like when yeah. I first started trying to wear heels when I was 12. He looks like a baby deer finding his balance on his legs when he's walking around in these things. It's at least four inches. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this doesn't matter at all. The reason it matters is that um, over time, um, taller candidates have certainly fared better. We've had some some tall presidents uh, recently, tall candidates. Um, Donald Trump is extremely tall. Uh, Joe Biden's pretty tall. I think Mitt Romney's pretty tall. Um, Barack Obama was pretty tall. And, you know, so far, it's, I, th I think it's getting more over time. Um, if I'm, I'm, I'm trying to scan this Politico article um, about this while I'm uh, while we're doing this segment. But uh, Ron DeSantis claims, I think that he's 5'11". Um, I'm about 5'11". I've never stood next to Ron DeSantis, so I don't know if we're like the same height. Um, I don't. Th I don't think of myself as short. I don't think. Of, I think of myself as kind of just standard height. Um, people, I guess, think of Ron DeSantis as short. So maybe he, maybe he isn't quite five eleven. Maybe it is the boots, you know, rounding him up to that height. I think you're right. I think we should have just had instead of the the Ferragamo heels given to him, we should have had PBT or PBD rather say. Hey, stand up. We're going to measure you. If you're really 5'11", let's see if you're 5'11 yeah. right now. But to Ron DeSantis' favor, he could be lying about the 5'11 thing and really be like 5'7 or 5'8 and have been wearing heels this whole time. Asking why he doesn't wear dress shoes is a good question. Why is it always the boots? It's because the boots can hide the heel. And I think there is a heel in there. And I think this gets at the heart of what a lot of people say about Rod DeSantis, and it's that he is a man plagued with deep, deep insecurity. Just the way he carries himself and talks. I think if you are so insecure that you need to put some heels in your boots and you can't take this conversation in good stride and laugh about it and be like, oh yeah, I saw those rumors, it's so silly. I think there's something going on here. I think it's pretty obvious. You think he's wearing heels? I think he's wearing heels, and I think he feels bad about his height, and I think he, you know, should just practice some self-love. You're beautiful you, the way you are, Ron. Do you think if he is wearing heels, that's ironic, considering that heels are something a lady wears and that we take the separation of genders very seriously in the state of Florida? Yes, yes. He's wearing drag in public. He should be arrested. Because this is, I think it's right. Didn't he pass a law that drag? I don't is care. Just keep it away from my kids. Are? You know, keep them away from the libraries. The heels around the kids. Yeah. Don't. It's yeah. He should be arrested for wearing the heels around the kids. Wrong. No, that's, no. That's what he does, what he does in the privacy of his own home is fine. I just don't. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to have to deal with it at the public library. No, we're we're being uh, we're being being silly in this right. segment because it is a it's a, a silly thing. Uh, 
good for PBD for you know trying to trying to make some news there, trying to get some personality out of DeSantis. Honestly, I think that is what holds him back more than anything else. Certainly, more than the height is this perception of inauthenticity. Right? He's uh, he's. I, I think people don't know what he really believes. I mean, it was, it was perfectly encapsulated during that debate moment where he like uh, where the candidates were asked very frankly would you vote for Trump again or would you support Trump if he were the nominee? And he kind of like looked around to see, like Vivek was like this, yes, I do. And DeSantis kind of looked around to see, was he gonna be the only one saying yes? Was he gonna be the only one saying no? Um, obviously That's a he, what, what's that? That's a leader, Robbie. I don't know, yeah. what do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, well, on the campaign trail, DeSantis is still hanging on to the number two spot. But frontrunner Donald Trump opened up an even bigger lead, according to 538's tracker. The Donald is sitting on top of just over 57 percent of support in the primary, while DeSantis has 13.9 percent. Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy both at, are there at 7.9 and 6.1, respectively. Trump also leading President Biden with 38 versus 39 percent per that same tracker. So again, that's showing a a very um, close race, and I, th I think that's broadly true, no matter which Republican you stick in there, that DeSantis and Vivek and Nikki Haley are also running neck and neck or a little ahead of Biden. Um, I, I know I saw at least one poll that had Nikki Haley substantially ahead of Biden. I, I can't remember if that was a national or a, a state poll. So it, it is, you know, whoever the Republican is, they're going to have, it's, this is going to be another um, nail biting race. Of course, a lot could happen between now and election day. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, and, uh, go, going back to what I was saying about DeSantis's inauthenticity, also his kind of Flip, like what is he, what is his foreign policy? Is he uh, is he a neoconservative? Is he you know he's he's um, denounced Ukraine funding, but lately he's been very vocal on the need to fund um, fund and support Israel. Um, Vivek Ramaswamy we had on on this program recently, and he really tried to distinguish himself from DeSantis and Haley and others, saying that uh, well a opposing kind of cancel culture even for students who are saying really things that he and I both think are idiotic about the Israel Palestine situation. Situation, and then also talking about a need to reassess our funding levels for Israel. Um, we, we, you know, without he, he did not condemn anything Israel was doing. I think Brianna was very unsatisfied from a left standpoint about the answers he was giving. Uh, but he, but he did, unlike Nikki Haley and I guess Ron DeSantis, um, talk about at least in theory not um, not supporting Israel past a point at which we've already pledged to do doing so. So there is a real disagreement on the Republican side on some of these issues. And I think people don't quite know if they can believe where DeSantis stands. Yeah, Ron DeSantis, I guess, on the political issues is doing exactly what he did on the debate stage, looking around, seeing who's raising their hands, where should he fall? I think he took some unprecedented action uh, in terms of what other candidates are doing, but it's pretty precedented for Ron DeSantis, which is quelling any kind of political sentiments he disagrees with. In the case of Disney, he decided to retaliate against them when they were against uh, his don't say gay bill, as it's been called. And then now you have many students who are doing pro-Palestine rallies, protest demonstrations on college campuses, and he's cracked down on that. And so I think Ron DeSantis has made pretty clear that he's not on the side of free speech, which I think gets many Republicans mad, even if they disagree with the sentiments that he's trying to quiet down. Uh, but I think Ron DeSantis in the polls, we should have had some kind of poll conducted where it's, you know, Ron DeSantis, an A-B test. Uh, it says his name, Ron DeSantis, in parentheses, uh, under five, or sorry, 5'11", <laughs> by the way. And then Ron DeSantis, over six foot, by the way. And we just see how he shakes out. Ron DeSantis with and without heels in the polling. Yeah, his uh, I, the affirmative case for DeSantis's candidacy wa from a Republican standpoint was uh, was COVID. He's he's broadly respected for how he handled um, COVID by Republicans, uh, even by many independents. I mean, his his Florida reelection was a breeze. He performed even better than he did last time. He, he's done certainly done something right in that state to be so popular. And uh, and he was uh, a leader on relaxing mandates and lockdowns and op opposing all, all those sorts of things. Of course, we've now gotten well past um, the COVID era, thank goodness. So people might be um, forgetting what they liked so much about him, which was uh, definitely that, I, I think. Um, that does it for us for today. Tomorrow on Rising, we'll be back to bring you the most important news of the day. It's been great having another opportunity to host 
host with you, Jessica. Thanks so much for being here. Yes, happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss any content. And for those of you who like to listen while on the go, we are, of course, available anywhere you listen to podcasts. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.